So now we're going to look at a very powerful tool, which is actually uh, one of the one that's really revolutionized the world. It's called ChatGPT, and it's by OpenAI. And I'll go ahead and look at what we see when we sort of search for ChatGPT. Um, if when you're just starting, it talks about pretty much what it can do in terms of what people need in AI. OpenAI also has systems like Dolly as well as analysis. We're going to stay on ChatGPT for its really flexibility and usefulness uh, across uses for architects. We see first the interface for ChatGPT. I'll full screen it here. You see, um, if you log in, I've actually logged in and I, I use um, the uh, four versions, the, so the proper version. Um, and you can see that every time you're starting, you have the ability actually to start a new project you know you can start by saying can you write a list or write a program for a house and we want to do when we're writing anything for ChatGPT to be specific so that's the first thing about what ChatGPT is and so right now it's thinking ChatGPT takes a little bit longer there's another version called GPT-5, and that's also part of the effect. Starting simple is a great way to just understand pretty much how does it think. So as it's generating, you see that it's sort of making a lot of different uh, sort of interpretations. Right now, this is actually not what I was looking for. And the idea is it, it of course, is responding you know, to like its general thought. I can always stop it in the middle. Um, I don't have to really go to the end of it. Uh, and what I can do is saying, is this getting what I'm saying or is it not? I can also copy it out. Right now, because it's not really saying it, I would say uh, pretty much again, write a building program for a house, including the major rooms and sizes. So I just add that. Of course, you see down below, it also says that ChatGPT can make some takes. But let's go ahead and see what it generates as we specify it a lot closer so look it's going into a lot more detail it talks about the spaces instead of different so maybe construction concerns and so this is uh, actually um, going to be a little more extensive list um, it's letting the system that pretty much runs uh, open AI um, go through and it's looking for research online and through its system its neural net to determine what it's going to respond and so these are things that I could access also to just put into a simpler list. I could access to organize into, um, you know, something I can just immediately copy into a table. Um, this is this is all possible. And it also gives like a little bit of notes at different times. And I also could say, uh, like, for instance, I've said, make as a simple list of rooms, room names and sizes. So you understand it has the ability to simplify or complicate. And so the idea is if you say, oh, I want a 3,000 square foot house, tell me how we can divide that program. It can give that to you immediately. So you can already see it's a very valuable thing. Um, and I'm just going to leave this chat and go a little bit into what's happening over here with the other options. And versions of looking at things like Dolly, I can also ask for sending me maybe an image, uh, you know, generate image of a mid-century modern um, uh, multi-family home where I wouldn't say that this is doing this is not just taking an image and developing it that's something we're actually going to talk about a little bit later with maybe Chrome AI but it gives you something you know right on the fly by just talking about it and it's it's generating it and I could very simply edit this one by saying make this guy uh, dark and or make this guy a noon dark sky at a stone base and people are walking in front that's definitely something that uh, a dolly would do uh, I'm not really comparing that so much to a um, uh, another set of AI as each one sort of operates some of them are interconnected but this is a great way for using ChatGPT to be coming up with ideas. So this is not me using the existing generator. However, you do have the ability to, to upload files uh, and images now. Um, though this is really great in terms of how it's, it's actually taken the thing 
uh, and that it had before, and it's rendering it and it's adding some of those effects that I added. So this is actually definitely great, and just like being able to understand and just create. So it sort of has a lot of the options that you see, um, though it's, it's something maybe you didn't give to it directly. You also have the ability to import and get like some insight, but we're not actually going to go into that one for this uh, particular um, file. We're just going to really go into some, some of the generated because ideas, one of the great things for this is it takes and it gives you some content that you guys use for other engines that are more tiered to images or tiered to other uh, avenues.